Since we know that the UV light has tendency to kill and inhibit the growth of bacteria, so I am going to experiment to see if it's true. At first, I have taken agar powder. It needs around 3 grams to dissolve in 50 ml of water. As we going to make 2 plates 25 ml for each. It must be dissolved properly. Now I will sterilize the solution by autoclave. After 10 minutes, I took out the solution. And before pouring it into the DCs, I have cleaned them with the rubbing alcohol to avoid any contamination. The DC should be partially filled After few minutes it solidified. It has a jelly like texture. Now we have to stick the bacteria on it. So I am collecting the bacteria samples from the kitchen sink. To get the proper bacterial colony, we should spread them evenly. Since we are experimenting to see the UV effect, I am using this UV sterilizer. I am using a power bank to power this sterilizer. The UV lights turn off once we open the box. It turns off at the fraction of seconds that we can't even see with the bare eyes. Here is a switch which gets triggered when the box is closed. See this is how it looks inside. Let's back to the experiment. I will place the small dish in the UV and the other one will remain as it is. I have sterilized the sample for 20 minutes. It's enough for the bacteria to inhibit its growth or get killed. Covering the DCs with the aluminum foil to avoid any contamination. It don't need marking since the smaller one is UV sterilized and the bigger one is the simple one.
after seven days when i saw them nothing got changed so i searched for the reason on internet and come to know that the problem is with the agar solution it needs a nutrient agar powder so i searched online store for the nutrient agar but it's quite expensive so one of my friends suggested me to buy agar prepared battery dix which is relatively cheaper and we don't have to do the whole process again within a few days i received the order let's open it and see it contains total 20 battery dishes as soon as i saw the dishes i realized it's a waste of money as it don't contains any agar layer so after all i decided to bring the nutrient agar from my university lab now we have to do the whole process again once it cools down it solidifies so our bacteria medium is ready now we can stick the bacteria taken from the kitchen sink now begins the uv sterilization process This time the dishes are same in size so we will have to mark them If you got more samples better mark at the bottom of the dish I will put them in airtight bag to avoid any further contamination After 7 days I removed the bag and saw some changes The dish without UV sterilization has more bacterial growth No matter how hard we try we still get some bacterial and fungal contamination during the process So mostly we work under the flames to avoid the contaminations
okay hope you like this video and sure to subscribe see you in the next video